What is up guys and welcome back to Streamer Tips. If you're like me, you love, for better or for worse, giving more power to your chat and audience. So today, in collaboration with the Firewire, I'm going to show you how to set up Trigger Fire. Let's get started. First off, I want to give a huge shout out to Mikey for letting me create this video. He's the creator of Triggerfire, and he's also the creator of many other great Twitch tools that you can use in your channel. I'm going to link all of his information down below. Definitely go show him some love. Secondly, and this is at the request of Mikey, if you choose to use any of these tools, please come join the Discord. He has specifically requested that anybody who uses these tools come join the Discord so he can collectively gather bug reports. You can find a link to the Discord and all of the other resources that I'm going to point out in this video in the video description below. To start this process, you're going to need the following things. Of course, you're going to need a Twitch channel. You're going to need an OBS plugin called the OBS WebSocket plugin and an account on Stream Elements. Stream Elements is just like Streamlabs. You don't have to use any of their alerts or anything, but you will need to use them in order to make the triggers work. So after you've created these, you're going to want to join the Trigger Fire Discord. Again, that link will be down in the description below. First, click on the updates channel and you're going to want to read everything about the trigger fire open beta then you're going to want to go over to dump and you're going to want to type in exclamation point trigger fire of course i've already done this so i'm going to go ahead over to the trigger fire beta up at the top of the trigger fire beta you can expand this window and it's going to give you a bunch of information i'm going to go ahead and blur some of these urls at the request of mikey again if you want these urls they're completely free to you all you have to do is join the discord the first link here is going to take you to the trigger fire dashboard once you're here at the trigger fire dashboard you can either log in with twitch or with mixer upon logging in it's going to ask you to authorize just make sure to authorize your account and you're good to go the second link will create an overlay inside of stream elements to allow chat to trigger things like pictures and sound effects and other cool things we'll get into that a little bit later but make sure that you click this link so you can already have that overlay imported into stream elements next we're going to want to copy our token from trigger fire over to the stream elements overlay that was created for you you'll want to scroll down and find trigger fire by the firewire we're going to click edit on this this will bring you into the overlay editor of stream elements you'll want to double click trigger fire beta click on settings come down to widget token and this space will be blank but i've already entered my token i'm going to show you how to get yours you'll have to come over here to the little gear icon down at the bottom of the trigger fire dashboard and this will open up a page with token usage and list page you'll want to come over to token and click copy and you're going to want to come over back to the stream elements overlay come over to the widget token and just press Control v inside this little box right here after this is done you will have created a handshake between trigger fire and stream elements Lastly, you're going to want to install the OBS WebSocket plugin. Scroll all the way down on the GitHub page and look for the OBS WebSocket Windows installer. Save this installer and let's go through the setup. The setup is relatively easy. All you have to do is click next. Make sure that you install it where your OBS studio is located and hit the install button. It may tell you that this folder already exists. The next time you open up OBS, you should have a WebSocket server settings right underneath tools. Make sure this is enabled with the server port set to 4444. You can also enable authentication, although it's not needed. If you do enable authentication, make sure you set it to a secure password. You will need this later. Back inside of Triggerfire, I do have have a tab here that says OBS. You can see that I have an address and a password. Now, if you didn't set any password, that's fine. Just click connect to OBS. After you've done this, Triggerfire has been successfully connected to OBS. Make sure that you have OBS open, otherwise it won't be able to connect to it. Considering you've done all the steps above, you are now officially connected to Triggerfire. Let's have some fun. We'll come back to OBS triggers, but I'm going to show you how to set up sounds. So if we go over here to the sounds tab and we click the plus button down at the bottom of the page, we can now select a sound for our trigger. I'm going to go ahead and upload a sound. And I've gone ahead and I've uploaded a Super Mario coin sound. Now this sound effect can be whatever you want, but make sure that it abides by Twitch's terms of service. I'm going to go ahead and select this sound. Let's go ahead and set up a command name. 
You don't have to have one, but it's good just to get the program off your back. We'll go ahead and name this one coin. From here, you can set the user level to whatever you want it to be. Everyone, a subscriber, maybe founders. You can even set it to VIPs or moderators. I've gone ahead and I've left this trigger for everyone to use. We'll go ahead and leave the user and global cooldowns just the same. Now here's the really cool interesting part. Chances are you may be using Twitch's built-in point system. By clicking this little coin right here, you can now set it to the custom Twitch reward that you have named on Twitch. I'm going to show you how to set this up. Let's scroll down and create a new reward. Something I like to do for all of my triggers is I like to specify them by putting SFX. This of course means for sound effects. I've gone ahead and set my custom reward to SFX coin. We'll make the amount of this sound effect 100 bus tokens. That's the currency in my channel in case you didn't know. Now you can set a reward image, but for right now it's not needed. So before we create the custom reward, we're gonna wanna highlight everything that we've named the reward. And you'll want to control and copy. This will copy everything that you've written inside the reward name. Now let's click create. So now we're back inside of Triggerfire and we wanna go ahead and copy and paste what we named our reward on Twitch. You can do this easily with control V. Make sure you check for case sensitivity because if it's not named the same thing as the reward on Twitch, it will not activate the trigger. It's up to you if you want to allow a command, but for right now, I'm not going to allow it. I only want my audience to trigger this sound effect with Twitch points. Now for demonstrative purposes, I've gone ahead and I've canceled out of everything because I've already have my own set of sound effects that I've created. Before your audience can activate these sound effects, you're going to need to copy the trigger fire overlay into your OBS. One thing to know, every time you create a new sound or a new OBS trigger, you're going to want to come back over to the overlay that was created inside of stream elements. Click the refresh widget button and then click save. Next, we're gonna wanna drop this overlay into OBS. To do this, all you have to do is copy the overlay URL at a browser source inside of OBS and copy this URL. Click OK, and now you're all set to go. Now I'm over here in the rewards panel of my Twitch stream, and as you can see, I have a few sound effects. On the other side, I do have OBS open, and I'm gonna show you that these sound effects really do work. So let's try hello there. Hello there. Pretty cool, right? Let's try another one. I'm gonna go ahead and play this very funny FBI sound effect. If you heard your sound effect that you set up, congratulations. You set up your very first sound inside of Trigger Fire. So the process that I just explained to you with sounds is something you can also do with videos and images. It's basically the same process repeated. So we've talked about sound triggers and some other cool things you can do, but did you know you can set up OBS triggers? It looks a little something like this. This isn't Fortnite fun. <laughs> This part is for more advanced OBS users, so if you haven't spent a lot of time inside of OBS, I highly suggest you skip over this part. If you're determined and you wanna set up some cool stuff, here's an example of how to do that. I won't have any examples here set up unfortunately, but I will give you an idea of how to set this up. We're gonna treat this like this is my main scene, so pretend that my camera and my overlay and my capture is all right here. We're gonna wanna create another scene called triggers. You can set these triggers to anything you want as well, whether they're video files or images, or maybe you wanna rickroll your community. The creativity really is endless. For example, let's say that I want to create a video to pop up whenever an OBS trigger is activated. We'll go ahead and add a media source. For these media source settings, you're gonna want the following. Local file to be checked, loop to be unchecked, restart playback when this source becomes active. Using hardware decoding is really up to you, but I'm gonna go ahead and check it for the purpose of this tutorial. Show nothing when playback ends and close this file when inactive. Again, this video or media file can be anything you want. Then you're going to want to click OK. Make sure that you go ahead and set them all up in this blank canvas and you can set up multiple triggers in this scene. Make sure that the visibility icon is 
off. So now that you can see that I have multiple triggers in here and all of them are turned off and that's for a very specific reason. Trigger fire is going to activate these sources and then turn them off when they're done playing back. We're going to come back over to our main scene and we're going to want to add a nested scene. This You're going to right click, click add and click scene. And you're going to want to add the existing scene that we created called triggers. Your nested scene with all of your triggers has now been implemented over your existing overlay. So you don't get this confused, I recommend giving this a color. I'm just gonna set the custom color of this to green. Now that you've done that, we're gonna go back over to the trigger fire dashboard. Now using the WebSocket plugin that we had you connect earlier, we're gonna have you connect to OBS. Make sure that the trigger fire dashboard and OBS is both open at the same time. The process is basically the same as before. Choose a command name, choose a user level, choose the cooldown timers, and then also set up your trigger within the Twitch rewards. You want to go over to the other side of the screen here and click source. From here, you'll choose the scene name that is the triggers that we created and the source name for which source within those triggers you want to activate. For the whole duration, you're going to want to make these seconds match up with however long the source is that you created for that trigger. So for example, if you're Rick rolling somebody for 10 seconds, you want to set this whole duration to 10. Considering you've done all the steps above, you've set up your OBS triggers. Congratulations. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I want to thank you guys for sticking with me this long. I know this tutorial was probably really long for you. If you like this tutorial, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up. If you hated it, give it a big old thumbs down. If you like the channel, make sure you hit subscribe. And of course, come follow me on Twitch. Come check out all the great content you've been missing out on. That's it for now, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.